My name is Russell and I am a photocopier service engineer. I'm the man the office never sees, but without whom the office would not run. Or at least they wouldn't have access to a working photocopier on this floor for up to 48 hours. This is my seventh year in copiers. Before that I was in printers. Very different beasts. You can get dual purpose units, but they're essentially a printer with a copy facility attached. The copy per minute, or CPM, it's not that great. And the copy quality is just it's never going to be as good as a single purpose unit like Shirley here. It all started with my grandfather. He had a home office at home and was one of the first people in Ipswich to own a fax machine. During the course of his working life he had five faxes and well, I just started tinkering with broken units when I was about nine or ten. I did manage to bring three of them back to life. so. My parents gave me the nickname Dr. Fax. You know, like Dr. Fox? Foxy. Neil Fox. I mean, I haven't worked on fax machines for years, but they still call me it. The last couple of years, it's felt a bit inappropriate, but, well, he was cleared of all that in the end. I work in the shadows. It's just easier to operate outside normal office hours. I can get in, get the job done, get out again. If I was here when this place was full, it'd just be constant questions. People moaning about how long it's taken to fix. You know, just earache. But people think it's just a case of turn it off, wait 10 seconds, turn it on again. It's simply not the case. Well, sometimes that is the case. But if it is, then the person handling the call at the technology service desk, they should be able to ascertain that from what the caller's telling them and direct the caller to turn it off and turn it on themselves. I've just brought in as a last resort. These are expensive pieces of kit, you know. They need to be looked after, but in today's railway society, people just don't think. I had a cleaner once. completely desecrated a unit with a can of Mr. Shane. Camilla. That was a great runner. Clockwork. Let's get rid of her in the end. Camilla. Up to me. You do not go in all guns blazing and just polish the glass plate like that, you know. These girls, man, it's someone that knows what they're doing, someone who knows how to approach them, how to deal with them. Each one of them is different, different needs, requirements. I like to come in after hours, I can just give them the time they need, you know. I better crack on. My mum, she doesn't like me driving the van home in the dark. <laughs> 